This is a quick video about recovering highlights in Lightroom using the sliders on the basic panel versus just using the tone curve panel. To the best of my understanding, these do work a little bit differently, so you'll probably get a slightly different result when you're done, but they will both recover highlights. I took six photos here. These are each a stop apart. These are taken with a Sony a7R III, which is a new camera to me, so I'm a little bit unused to the dynamic range and how it overexposes. But I just wanted to make sure I got some where the highlights are visibly clipping here. This last one is definitely clipped on the raw file. You can kind of see that in the histogram up here. So no matter how much I turn down these sliders, uh, it won't recover all the highlights. And the same is true of the tone curve. Uh, this will just change the white point. Uh, and if I do a little curve manipulation here, you can see like I can get some of this back but a lot of it is just totally clipped out. If I go back to this one, this isn't clipped on the raw file, but it is visually clipped in Lightroom. So I made three snapshots, so I don't have to manually edit this. This is as it was shot, uh, you know, slightly clipped highlights here. This is what it looks like when I change the curve. You can see I brought back a ton of detail in here. And it is going to look a little different with the slider one, but still, it brought back a whole bunch of detail. I think these are pretty comparable. Uh, this one's a little lower contrast. This one's higher contrast, but the detail is about the same. This is a stop higher. I did the same thing. I took a snapshot of the curves and slider recoveries, and you're going to see the same result. This is as shot. This is way overexposed, way visually clipped, but I think the raw file is still fine. Or pretty close to fine. Uh, this is when I edit it with the curves and you can see I think this one is a little bit more clipped uh, but there's quite a bit of detail recovery, highlight recovery in these areas here and once again the slider recovery basically the same. A little bit better on this one but I'm not a professional at using these tools. Uh, if I spent some more time with it I'm pretty sure I could get the curves better. My point is they do both recover details. They both recover highlights. It just might not be exactly the same. So which one you want to use is just going to depend on your specific file, which tools you like to use better, uh, maybe the effect or the look that you're going for at the end. But if you're just concerned about recovering details, they will both do that. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks.